I was trying to figure out different ways to explain what I was doing in this video, but I decided it would be easier just to show you. Uh, what I've got is an Arduino Uno back here. I've got the uh, 2x16 LCD display and a joystick. And what I wanted is I wanted to be able to edit or input data using the joystick. And you can see the flashing X right here. So if I move the joystick over this way, uh, you can see that it moved over position moved over position. I got to be careful to do it quickly otherwise it jumps. And then I can also change the character, whatever character I want to put in there. This I was thinking about doing a two axis, uh, we call it uh, like a, a, a cutting machine, a milling machine. And yeah, so this would be the starting and stopping positions. You could edit those. Uh, this will also, if I just do it long enough, it'll just go through all the characters. So uh, right now I don't have any editing on it or any, uh, you know, preventing uh, of characters or the wrong characters in it. It'll go through the whole alphabet. So that's what this does. Uh, it could be used for anything. It goes down to the next line, as you can see. And I can change any of the character positions I want. Uh, so, you know, it just... Uh, this could be text, it could be numbers, you, know, you can grab the information out, it updates the uh, data, actually it updates the actual data in the matrix that's being displayed. So it's not just changing the display, it's actually changing the data. Okay, so uh, that is what this does. Uh, if you're interested, uh, I'm going to go over the hardware and the software that makes it all happen. This is the hardware behind the setup and it requires the joystick and the 2x16 LCD display. I've got detailed videos on both of these. Uh, you can see from the photograph over here it's kind of hard to follow everything so we'll go over the diagram but there's a one-to-one -one relationship between say this green wire and this green wire, this yellow wire, this yellow wire and so on. So this is the joystick and as you can see we'll start down here at the bottom this is the switch it goes over here to this uh, number two digital line on the arduino the uh, vry line on the joystick goes over here to a1 and then the rx line goes over here to the a0 and there's that comment and that comment i'm using the three volt line i don't show it going all the way over here for clarity's sake but i connect it to the to the 3.3 here and then the ground goes to the ground over here and let's go on to the LCD display this is the clock line it goes to the A5 in the Arduino down here to the SCL the data line the SDA is the green goes up here to the A4 and then we have 5 volts going to here and then the ground and that's pretty much it this is uh, mostly a uh, software driven thing. Okay, so let's uh, look at the software. This is the software behind our system and it's uh, written for the Arduino in C and what we're going to do is use the joystick to enter values in the LCD display. We have a 2x16 LCD. It can be powered from 3.3 to 5 volts. I'm using 5 volts and the Arduino, the A4 line, uh, goes to the SDA on the, on the LCD, and the Arduino's A5 goes to the clock line on the, on the uh, LCD, as we saw over here. Uh, the joystick is an HW504, the VRX goes to pin A0, and the VRY, that's these here, uh, it goes to A1, the switch, pin 2, uh, is this one, and it goes over here to the digital line on the Arduino, and ground is ground. Uh, this is just a note to myself that the resistors used in the joystick uh, range from a value of 0 to 710, and that's what the Arduino will be picking up. And the center switch is normally 1, and when you push it, it goes to 0. We are going to include the wire library, that's for the I2C, and we're also going to include the liquid crystal I2C. Uh, this is for the LCD library, that is for the, uh, the display. 
And here we are telling the uh, system the I2C address for the LCD, the number of columns and the number of rows that we're going to use. This is the array of what I'm going to display. So this is the initial value and we saw that over here on the on the actual. Okay, so that is this data that we see over here and then below that we have the VRX value. So this is to tell us that it's pin A0, the analog pin and VRY is 1, so that's the Arduino A1 pin. The switch pin, that is the center, that's when you push down on that in the center. That is digital pin 2, which is right there. And what else do we have? LCD pause 32, so this is the position within this array that we are stepping through. When we, uh, when we push the uh, joystick, it will step us through uh, this way and that keeps that value and then the boolean flip this allows me to blink the cursor on and off so if I want to select this character and cause it to flash as we saw in the demo that's that's uh, what this value is for okay let's go down and look at the setup program this is the setup routine that is required by Arduino the first thing we do is we're going to initialize the LCD and then we're going to turn on the backlight here we are going to set the switch pin for the center push, so that's here. And we're going to define that as an input. And then we are going to initialize that to a value high so that when we push it, it will actually go low. The next routine is a clear routine, and that allows me to, to uh, blank out one of the two lines at a time. And in this, in this program, I actually don't use it. I kept it in here because if I expand this uh, to do other things, then yeah, I'm going to want that. This is the check joystick routine. And this does a lot of the heavy lifting in the program. The first line is to check the X, and, uh, sorry, the X coordinate. So to see if the stick is being pushed left or right is probably the easiest way to say that. And so if it's less than 175, if the value that is being returned is less than 175, uh, then I know the stick is being pushed to the left this way. And also I need to check to make sure that the position within the array, this, is, is valid. So I need to make sure it goes between position 0 and position 31. And if it's not, then I, I don't want to be doing anything. But if that's valid, if the stick is being pushed to the left and I'm within bounds, then I want to decrement the position. So if I am here, then I want to move over one position. Otherwise, uh, I, if uh, the stick is being pushed to the right, so in other words, the value is greater than 530, and I am still within bounds, so I am less than 31, so say I'm here, uh, if someone pushes it to the right, I want to go here. But if I'm here and someone pushes to the right, I do not want to keep going. So that's what I'm doing. I'm checking that here. And if that's true, then I want to increment the uh, position of the uh, pointer. Next is if I am between 0 and 32 as far as the uh, cursor goes. So in other words, not, am I within a valid range in the LCD? then if the analog of VRY, so in other words, now I'm checking for moving the joystick up and down. So again, similar kind of thing. If it's less than 175, I know the joystick is being pushed up. And again, I need to make sure that I've got a valid character within this position. So I'm not asking if I have a, if I'm in a valid position this way, like I did up here, I'm actually asking is this character somewhere between ASCII 32 and 127? So is this a valid printable character? If that's the case, then I want to increment the ASCII value of the character in that position. So X, if I'm pushing up, it would become Y. Otherwise, if the value returned is 530, or greater than 530, I should say, then I know that the stick is being pushed down and same type of thing, I need to check to see if the 
character is valid. And if the character is valid within that range, then I, what I want to do is I want to decrement the character. So if uh, this is C, then I would want to go to B, for example. The last thing is I want to check to see if the uh, switch, center switch here, is being pushed down. And then I need to execute something. So I put this in here in case I decide to do like a CNC machine. And I would set the values for X and Y. I would have a Y line down here. And then when it was ready to go, I would push the button and that would execute the, uh, the program. Okay, moving down. This is the LCD routine. And so we're, as I made a comment, this is just to deal with the LCD. So the first thing is I define a row and a column. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the cursor row by dividing by 16. And yeah, I'm going to take the integer value of that, what's left over from that division. And down here I do something similar. I get the column by taking the LCD position and uh, doing a modulo 15 on it. And then I get the remainder of that. So those things give me the row and column. The next thing is the LCD set cursor. So I'm telling it to go to this position right here. And the next thing I do is I print the line. So that is our, that is the first 16 characters of this array. And I print that here. The plus zero is not necessary. It's uh, just a reminder that, uh, of what I'm doing. So what this does is it starts at position zero within that array and it, and it prints the next 16 characters. Um, then, actually it'll print more than 16 for those of you who are checking on this. Yes, it'll print the whole thing, but of course they'll get it truncated by the display at 16. The next one is I'm going to set the cursor on the next line down, so over here. And then I'm going to print uh, the last 16 characters here. And then um, if flip, so in other words, if this is true, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate, say between, if I select this character, I'm going to alternate between an X and an underscore back and forth. And that's what flip does. So flip says, if flip is true, then the LCD set cursor, a column row, so I, I'm in the position where I should be. I print an underscore if flip is true, and if flip is not true, then I print the original character. So say it was an X. Uh, so when flip is true, I print an underscore, and when flip is not true, I would print this X. So that gives me the blinking character. And then I delay for 100 milliseconds, and that's the end of that routine. And then I come down here to the main loop, and all the main loop is doing is calling the check joystick uh, routine here and the LCD routine. And it calls it over and over again, repeating forever. So that's it. Not really too difficult. I mean, you can create your own uh, editable uh, LCD display for whatever purpose you're doing. It makes it very handy. You don't need to hook up to a computer to enter values into your Arduino. You can do it in the field with just some uh, simple hardware. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your Arduino programming and your hardware exploits.